Hello, uh, I'm Dr. Sullivan, and this is an introductory lecture for Anatomy 303 on how to succeed in the course and um, a little bit about the grading policies. Okay, let's see how we can make this. There we go. Okay, so neither I nor my entire family uh, have any um, interest in anything. Um, I can, um, so I have nothing to disclose. So that's why this slides in there so that you, you know that I'm not working for the drug companies or any appliance companies or anything like that. So the structure of the course, um, Dr. Fox has made a video about that. So uh, you should look, at, look that over. Um, but what I would like to tell you is that this course, even from the, before the pandemic was designed to be completely online. This course was designed for students who are off campus, but it works pretty well for students who are on campus to, as, yeah. Um, each of the lectures in this assessment, in each assessment block will be um, 10 to 20 minutes kind of mini lectures. We tried to make them in uh, doable bits so that you don't get too bored or sit too long. So um, each topic, the the each larger topic will be broken up into smaller, um, hopefully mentally digestible pieces. You, the student, are responsible for all of the material presented in these mini lectures. So you see the syllabus and the schedule um, and kind of keep on our weekly schedule. That'll really help you keep up with all of this the uh, material. You are encouraged to please use Piazza to ask questions regarding the material. Um, Piazza is a forum where you can all ask and answer each other's questions. It um, gives you the opportunity to actually teach your peers, which is the best, absolute best way to learn. Um, uh, as somebody who teaches, um, when I have a new topic that I have to present, um, learning it really well to teach it to someone else is what really solidifies that knowledge for me. So I hope, hopefully that will also work for you. Like I said, I'm uh, Kelly Sullivan. I am the course director. So please direct any questions about um, how the course works, um, exam dates, uh, your SSD forms, um, uh, illnesses, all of that kind of stuff uh, to me. Um, the material we will be presented to you by three of us, uh, me, uh, Dr. Kathleen Alsup and Dr. Glenn Fox. And they, we are all pretty good at what we do. We know, we know our material pretty well. So um, we, and we each have our areas of expertise and that is what we have focused on for this course. Read the syllabus. I don't know how to emphasize this any more than putting it in bold. Maybe I could have put it in like, you know, all caps, but that's our contract with you and your contract with us. That's what you can expect from us and what we expect from you. And we stick to it. We don't make any exceptions. And that's why we insist that you read it at the beginning so that you know well in advance how this course works, um, all of the kinds of things that uh, we expect of you and what you'll need to do to be successful in this course. Each of the topics that we present will have learning objectives, and those are the things that we think are the most important, um, and those are the things that we base our tests on. I would advise you to get some study buddies or join a study group. Um, you don't really know it until you've said it out loud, and somebody either says, oh, yeah, that's right, or oh, no, 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 that is not right, um, because just running through the same things in your head over and over doesn't necessarily mean you really know it. So please um, work with work with other folks, work with groups to kind of test each other and test your knowledge. Do join Piazza. Actually, I will um, enroll you all in Piazza at the beginning of the course. Um, so, but please do use it to ask questions. You know, you've gone over something, you still don't quite get it. Um, if you ask on Piazza, somebody out there will know and have a probably maybe a better way of, of explaining it than any of your instructors do. Keep up with the work. Do not wait until the night before the exam to watch all of the videos and um, try to cram for this for the exam. It won't work. It absolutely will not work and you will not do well. And then I like to tell myself stories about every anatomical structure. So when I think about um, like, oh, I don't know, sensory information, I think about how it enters um, something point pokes my skin or something brushes up against my skin or I 
pet a cat and the sensory receptors in the skin and then the neural pathway up my from the nerves that are running through my arm to my spinal cord and then from my spinal cord up to my brain. If you think about um, an entire system or like if you're thinking about a, a, a movement, you think about the muscle that that is contracting, what joint does it go through? What's the blood supply to that muscle? What's the innervation of that muscle? If you think about all of the things and how they work together and how they're connected, it will help you tell a more complete story of that um, structure or system. And when we come at you with a question, you'll have you'll have the whole thing in your head. And so no matter what angle that question comes from, you'll have a more global understanding and um, be better able to answer questions. So exams and quizzes. We have added quizzes. Um, we used to only have uh, exam points from, from just the exams. And so now we have some quizzes uh, to help you keep up with the material. And the whole goal is that you'll have a weekly quiz and how you do on that quiz will help you gauge how well you're understanding the material. We're gonna open them on Monday mornings and they will close either Thursday or Friday. Um, I have a schedule on the next slide to help you with that. And they close at 5 p.m. There are gonna be 15 quizzes throughout the course. Um, each quiz will be worth two points. Um, so that's 30 points, uh, quiz points for the semester. And when I did the calculations, 30 points is enough to bring you up, um, usually an, uh, can bring you up an entire letter grade. So quizzes are important. Uh, each of the questions will vary in its value. So you might have um, eight questions that are worth a quarter point each. Probably more likely you'll have like four questions that are worth half a point each. Um, or they could be worth one point. So that would be maybe a bigger bigger concept question. You must complete your quiz before 5 p.m. on the due date. So if you start your quiz at 4.59, you only have a minute to complete it. So timing out, and I will, and I can check because these will be through um, Canvas, timing out doesn't count as a technical difficulty. That is a poor planning difficulty. And as I said, they're designed to help you know where you stand with the material and whether you're putting in enough time um, uh, to get all the material studied and understood um, to keep you on track for your big exams. So your quizzes are open note and open book. So you can have your slides up and look through them and find the answers. And that will hopefully help remind you of the concept that we're trying to get across. Um, but we do expect you to follow the honor code and not do these as a group. These are not group activities. These are still solo activities, but you can use your notes and you can use your, um, your slides and any and a textbook if you, ha if you happen to, to buy one um, or have access to one. But like I said, honor code. You do not share your answers and you do not share the questions and um, you do not discuss the quiz questions or the answers with any of the any other students or on Piazza because that would that would be just plain stupid because we watch Piazza we monitor Piazza okay so don't don't do that so here are your quiz schedules. Um, all of them are open on Fridays, except for September 29th, November 3rd, and December 8th. And that's because those the, the Fridays following those Thursdays are your exams. So we want you to do your quiz and get that put to bed before you open your exam the next day. And then Tuesday, that's the day before your Thanksgiving break. So your um, your your quiz is due again on the, the 22nd on, at, on Tuesday. Okay, so all the rest are Friday by five and they are due by five on that Thursdays and Tuesdays as well. Exams, we have three exams. Uh, your exams will be open from eight in the morning until eight in the evening, because I know you all have schedules and, and things that, that are going on, work and, and other school stuff. There are three exams. There are 70 points each. So 210 points for the semester. Your exams are September 30th, November 4th and December 9th. These are not open book or open note. So you close your books, close all your other apps, um, put away all your notes um, and again, and work on your own all by yourself to take the exam. 
And again, the honor code is very important. Um, please read the LSA Academic Integrity Statement if you're not familiar with it. But we expect, um, because we're giving you these quizzes and this opportunity to have an open note um, experience with your quizzes, the exams, we want you to remember and we want to, you to prove that you've integrated the information and that you really know the information to do well on the exams. So quizzes, open book, exams, not open book or open note. Okay, well, that's, I hope that's very crystal clear. Life happens, stuff happens. Um, even if you might not catch COVID, but you might catch the flu or a really nasty cold, um, or you might end up with food poisoning. Um, so anyway, we do, it's easy for me to schedule um, makeup exams if you are ill. And illness, any kind of illness ex includes mental and physical, okay? And I'm serious as a heart attack about that. If there are life events that um, can really throw you for a loop and um, derail all of your best intentions. So if you are struggling um, with any kind of physical or mental issues, let me know. And let me know before the exam. If you take an exam when you are not at your best due to whatever factors are influencing your life, if you take it, I can't help you. Because once you take the exam, that score is your score. If you have issues, let me know in advance and we will work to um, create a, a, until you're better to get the exam taken. So no worries about that. You can take the exam um, late. I mean, what I'm trying to say is makeup exams are easy for me to schedule and for you to take. And But makeup exams need a valid excuse, a, a real reason, not, not, not a hangover, okay? Um, or, or not, oh, I panicked and I haven't studied yet and now I'm a little nervous. No, that's not, no. But real issues, let me know. Um, and we will work to uh, get that exam arranged for you. Connectivity issues, if you know that you're going to be off campus or if you are um, somewhere where Wi-Fi is spotty, let me know about that too. Because um, if you have to make arrangements to take your exam at a special place and time where you know you won't have issues, you know, um, with your internet dropping out, um, we can will accommodate that too. If you need extra time or have any other um, kinds of uh, SSD issues, please send those forms to me. Here's the grade scale. So again, exam and quiz points. Um, are the only points for the course. We don't exactly have homework. It's not like you can go out and uh, create an anatomical specimen or anything like that to, to get extra credit or anything. Um, make sure you're on track from the beginning. Points are points. There's no rounding, there's no curving, uh, and there's no percentages because you know that's when, when you give percentages, that's when people say, but it's a 0.54, couldn't it be? Up? No, no, um, none of that. So points are points. Um, this is the, these are the, this is the scale. And so, and again, this is why I emphasize reading the, um, the syllabus, because all of this is spelled out there and it lets you know that these are your, these are your goals. Um, and you'll have plenty of opportunities to earn all of these points between your exams and your quizzes. Okay. For my last slide, um, bottom line, the 303 faculty are dedicated to providing an introduction to the discipline they love, and that is anatomy. We all three love anatomy so very much, and we are so lucky to be able to teach this full time. Um, so we've created this course that we hope you will find challenging and engaging. Um, please join us for um, some lively discussions via Piazza and reach out to us directly with any issues you may have um, with the material. Um, Try Piazza first so that it gives somebody else an opportunity to teach. If you still don't get it, um, email us directly and we'll do our best to explain things to you. And if you have any uh, questions with the nuts and bolts of the exam, or not the exam, but the nuts and bolts of the course, um, it would be I'm the person uh, to contact because I'm the course director. So I get I get to do all that fun stuff with um, uh, course administration. So I hope you enjoy this course. Um, uh, welcome to Anatomy, and uh, uh, see you in subsequent videos. Thanks for your attention.